Well, folks, it is time for another Grandpa Sports video. And we are here at North Kansas City District Stadium at Staley High School as we have got the Staley Falcons and the North Kansas City Hornets. As you can see, Northtown trying to send a message over there. Hey, your field, our game. But we are ready for the kickoff, folks. Staley comes in with an 8-2 record, of course, coached by Phil Light. North Kansas City comes in with a 10-1 record, coached by Leon Douglas. Of course, this game last year went to the North, or North, <laughs> went to the Falcons, and we are underway, and there's the kick. And he does catch it inbounds. And he's going to get tackled there at the 25-yard line. I think he caught that at about the 17, so not too much of a return. And we've got a flag on the first play. It's going to be holding against North Kansas City. So they're going to start off in the hole. It'll be 10 yards. The Hornets will start from their own 15 yard line. Staley come in with their quarterback hurt. They'll be using the backup quarterback tonight. Played in the game last week, which they won over Oak Park. Fake handoff, pitch out. He's gonna try and turn it upfield. And he's gonna get about seven yards on that carry. Ball carried by Seth Manley. That's Seth Manley on the carry. You'll hear me repeating the stadium announcer, but it's so much easier that way. I don't have to look it up on the sheet. Plus the Ball type. Brandon Hall. Brandon Hall on the carry. And it's going to be a play right into the middle of the line. By Jeremy Brown. Marwan Kirkwood and Hayden Gregg on the tackle. It's third down and one. Folks, that type is so small I can't hardly read it, but we'll try to keep up with it here as we go. I hate to mispronounce those names. Another play into the middle of the line, and he has stopped and pushed back. Looked like it was third and about one. Brandon Hall on the carry. Tackle by Nick Wright. Nick Wright with the tackle. So it's going to be three and out for North Kansas City here on the first series. Cohen Grace back deep for Staley. Yorktown in punt formation. Pretty cool, crisp evening here tonight. We've got just a slight southerly breeze. I think it has died down somewhat from when I first got here about 6.15. Northtown be kicking against the wind, and it's just almost straight up. And it takes a bad bounce, and Man Staley is going to have terrific field position. And they're going to have the ball, I think, on the North Kansas City 39. <laughs> the Staley fan says that was a good bounce, not a bad bounce for North Kansas City. The North Town cheering section over there being very noisy and boisterous. Once again, backup quarterback here for Staley. Receivers out wide, man in motion. Going to drop back, throw out. And that's just about going to be a first down. Now. Ramon Shelton on the reception. Pushed out of bounds by number nine. And it doesn't look like they are going to give second him the first down. down. So it'll be second down and one. Hand off in the middle, and that's yeah. going to be a first down there. Ball carried by Mylon Mitchell. Mylon Mitchell on the carry. Looks like about seven yards on that run, I'd say. 
Brought down by Edric Hill. That's good for a Falcon first down. Fake handoff, pass right over the middle. And he gets away there for just a minute. But it's going to be Shelton again on the reception, and that'll be a Staley first down. Moving the chains, first down, Falcons. Man, my hand is cold already. It must be that slight wind that we have because the air is crisp. Two men out wide. Receiver on this side goes in motion, turns around, heads back, handoff. And he's going to be hit right at the line of scrimmage. Carry by number six, Mylon Mitchell. Mylon Mitchell with the carry, and he is met right at the line of scrimmage and stopped there, actually behind. Looks like maybe a loss of two. So it'll be second and 12. It's second down and 12. Ooh. Two men in movement. I don't know. I guess it's all right. Handoff out there to number 22. Ball oh, carried by Fabian And he must have had a knee down or something in order for him to blow the whistle because the play has stopped. Now it looks like it's going to be third and nine. Killian Powell on the tackle. It's third down and nine. Got two men out wide to this side. Everybody else in fairly tight. One man in the backfield with the quarterback. He's going to drop back to pass. And looks like a little screen pass, and that's going to be a touchdown. So it was 7.36 to play here in the first quarter. It's going to be six to nothing. Staley, it's going to be Mylon Mitchell with a little swing pass out in the flat and they take it in for the score. So just right off the bat here, with a four and out and in the bad position for Northtown on a kick, Staley is gonna score. And this will make it seven to zip as Staley now leads. And we'll be back with the kickoff here in just a minute. Here's the kickoff from Staley. Northtown player is going to get it on about the 20. I'm going to turn it back up, and he will get to about. Return by number five, Brandon Hall. Brandon Hall with the return. He's going to get to about the 33, I'd say. And Northtown will put it in play. We'll see what they can do here on this second possession. In thinking about this game, what I figured was going to have to happen for Staley was they were going to have to stop these two running backs that North Kansas City has as both of them are pretty speedy. And if they can get through that line and into that secondary, well, they can bust off some really big plays because they are fast. If Staley can contain them two running backs, it should be a pretty good game. And then on the Staley side, I think it might come down to the play of this backup quarterback for them, because the rest of the team has played pretty good most of the year. I formation for Northtown, gonna hand it off to this side, and he's gonna be met in the background, in the background, in the backfield again. Like I say, they've gotta contain the running backs, and they certainly did it on that play. Hey, shout out to the North Kansas City Board of Education with us tonight. Thanks for showing up. Northtown with men out wide, men in the slot, one back in the backfield, quarterbacks dropping back, and he's oh. looking. Oh. And it's going to be caught. And it is Pass caught. Complete to number five, Brandon Hall. 33, that's going to be Tackle by 10, 15, 
20. It's about a 25-yard play there for North Kansas City. I think that was Brandon Hall on the reception, I think. I was talking and wasn't listening, so could be wrong. Man in motion, handoff into the line, and he's going to be met and stopped right there. Jeremy Maybe a gain of a couple feet. Maybe a yard. He was tackled by Hayden Gregg. Gain of one on the play. It's second down and nine. I think that was Hall on the carry. Men out wide, one back, man in motion. And it's going to be an option play, and there's a big hole there. Quarterback still going. Holding! And. Yes. Ball carry by Seth Mantley. Stop lines on the tackle. Okay. There's a flag on the play. About a 14 yard game, but it may be. I think they got his face mask, too. Got a flag on the play. Got holding on North Kansas City. The call is holding personal foul and face mask on North Staley, so it's offsetting penalties. Staley. Those will offset each other. We will replay the down. Replay the second down. Nice run there by the quarterback. Let's go, defense! Let's go, defense! <laughs> Seth Marley with that run. Second down nine for North Kansas City. Dive into the line again. He's gonna get maybe two more, two and a half. Jeremy Brown, the ball carrier. Jeremy Brown, carrier on that play. Caleb Taylor on the tackle. Looks like it's going to be third and about seven. Eight. It's third down and eight. Mm. Off the short eight. <laughs> <laughs> well, Northtown with some penetration. No way, no way, no way. Uh, no way. Uh, another flag. He was held. Flag on the play. Uh, I'm going to be holding on North Kansas City, it looks like. Decline the penalty. The call is holding against the Hornets. The penalty has been declined. Fourth down? Yeah. So it's going to be fourth down for North Kansas City, and I would say they're out of field goal range. Yeah, fourth and 15. And it's going to be a quick kick. Kind of caught everybody off guard, try and get it down and deep in Staley territory as they can, and it will be downed at about the seven yard line. Well, folks, we have a little break here. We'll be back in just a minute. We are at 357 already of the first quarter. We'll be back as play resumes. <laughs> here we go. Staley, two men out wide. Going to be a handoff up the middle, and he's going to get past the line, but he has met in the secondary. Devon Marshall. Devon Marshall with the carry. Edric Hill on the tackle. Uh, gain of five on the play. Uh, Heller on, on the five. tackle. Staley this time with receivers out wide here to the left. Two men in the backfield, almost like an old T-bone. Yeah. Another pass out in the flat, pretty much like 
what they scored a TD on a while ago. Only this time he can't get around the corner. And that was number one, Shelton, on the reception. He's a 5'11 senior, 163 pounds, and then we've got a flag with a face mask against North Kansas City. First down, Falcons. Must have been unintentional or something like that. There's only five yards, but it is first down. Men out wide to the right. Receiver out to the left. Hand off right up the middle. And looks like he may pick up about four. Marshall to carry on that. Kwan Hussein. That's Dermont Marshall. He's a senior, 5'11", 191 pounds. So that's no small guy out there. 190 pound running back. Second and six. False start. False start against the Falcons. Yeah. So Staley gives it right back as they have a full false start by one of the linemen. So now it's going to be second and 11. What's Nick coming in on offense for? <laughs> Man in motion, stops in there like he's gonna be a blocker. Run up through the line, gets into the secondary. May pick up three. Marshall carries again. Gain of about four, still gonna be third and 11. It's third down and seven. I'm guessing pass. What's everybody else think? And then drop back. Looking out in the flat. Yeah! And that's going to be a first down. To number nine. Nick Wright. First down. Nick Wright with a catch and the first down. That's why they brought Nick in. Yeah. <laughs> The guy next to me before that play was saying, why did they bring Nick in for that pass? Uh, and get through the yeah, nice run. Another first down. Uh, it's going to be Dervon Marshall, the ball carrier. First down, Falcons. Looks like the Staley Falcons backs are not having any trouble whatsoever getting through the line into the secondary of North Kansas City. So these back. Linebackers from North Kansas City are going to be pretty tired by the time this night's over. Another play right up the gut. Again. Come on, Marshall. <laughs> He's, Marshall's going to get about seven on that. Roman Bybar on the tackle. Second down and three. Ball on the 40. We're about to wind down the first quarter as we are at 25 seconds, play clock at 19. So they're gonna have to get a playoff here. Two men out on this side, quarterback back, pass. And it's a little bit low, but that's a good thing because uh, it was really short of the receiver. It'll stop the clock with 13.7 here. Yet to play in the first quarter. So far, the backup quarterback has looked pretty decent. I think he's only 
missed one out of about four or five passes since I'm not keeping a stat sheet. I can't tell you for sure, but uh, been, been pretty accurate, especially with the passes out in the flat. I'm gonna go around the other end. And there's a flag down that's gonna be holding against Staley. So a nice, looks like about seven yard run will come back. Plus they'll be penalized. Well, that's gonna make it about uh, third and eight after this is over. holding against the Falcons. Jesus. Check that. Gonna be about third and 14. Well, folks, that's the end of the first quarter, and here at, at this Grandpa's Sports seven. Video Four Game of the seven. Week, it is going to be Staley Falcons, seven, North Kansas City Hornets, zero. We'll be back as soon as they change ends of the field. Okay, we're ready to resume play. Hand off into the middle, and he's going to be met right there and stopped. Well, Mitchell, the ball carrier. Mitchell zigging and zagging a little bit but uh, unable to get too far so it's going to be about Hussein. fourth and 12. Daniel Joyner, Jr. and Daniel. north kansas city should get the ball back staley not in any type of punt formation well yes i think they are the, the punter is just not very deep so it's ever going to be some type of a quick kick here Unless this is a wildcat here. Timeout Northtown. Yeah, it's going to be timeout North Kansas City as they don't know they don't know what they see. So um, we'll, we'll uh, be back here, folks, as soon as the timeout's over. Staley now back in a traditional punt formation. A North Down player on about the 12-yard line. There again, kind of a bad kick off the side of his foot, it looked like. And it will go out of bounds at about the 27. So Northtown will put the ball in play on their own 27-yard line. Not a very long kick, 5, 10, 15, 20, maybe about uh, 20 yards on the kick. So uh, North Kansas City gets a pretty good starting position. Northtown will start from their own 28-yard line. Two receivers out wide, two men in the backfield. Oh, I'm sorry, one. And I think yeah. this was a wildcat awesome. play. Five yards. Ball carry by number five, Brandon Hall. I think that was Brandon Hall. I think that was a wildcat Kim play Taylor. there. And he's caught in the backfield with Kenneth Taylor with the tackle. And they lose four yards. So now, now it'll be second and 14 for North Kansas City. So far, Staley doing an excellent job of containing these running backs for North. It's yeah. an option play. And quarterback is going to be caught in the backfield. And they may lose another two yards. Nick Wright on the tackle. No, it's a flag. I think it's probably on there. No gain on the play. It's second down and 14. What's the flag for? Personal foul. Yep, personal foul against North Kansas City. Half the distance. There's a flag on the play. Personal foul against Northtown. Northtown unable to overcome any of these mistakes here, is what I'm going to call them. Yeah. Looks further than that. <laughs> Northtown really in a hole there. Back to pass. 
And I think he's out of bounds. Even if he caught that, he was out of bounds. So it won't be no good. Incomplete. So that's going to be fourth down as Northtown comes in with a three and out. At 24. So far, North Kansas City offense not looking too swell yet. Toa Gray is back deep for Staley. Northtown in punt formation. One other thing so far, it looks like Staley is pretty well controlling the line of scrimmage, which a lot of times will decide these games. Punter in his own end zone, Staley player ready to receive the kick on the 49 or I'm sorry 44 yard line and there's another flag nice kick this time man it's going to go way back and he's letting it roll what's the flag it's against Northtown yeah. no return there's a flag and that the kick from the end zone and that rolls Ball all start. the way down to the 18 yard line Ball start. the call is but, well started against the Hornets. But they'll come back and have to kick it over even further after that long, long it's kick. So that kick there was awesome. over 80 yards on that kick. But of course it had a pretty good roll. But I don't, I think uh, it bounced the first time on the Staley 45 yard line. And then had a really long run out. Seven yards deep. So now the punter is about seven yards deep in their own end zone. Boy, Staley could come up with a big play here if they could come up with a block. He's got it, kick oh. it away. And it's a line drive this time, but once again, pretty good roll. And it's going to be downed at about the 47 yard line of Staley. Hey, folks, we have a halftime extravaganza, second to none tonight. We have so that was about a 60 yard kick for the punter. After that kick that he had there in the first period, where it only went about 20 yards. Well, he comes back with two really booming kicks and really helps to get North Kansas City out of a hole that Staley will put it in play on their own 47-yard line. Receivers out wide. Going to be a handoff. And once again, he goes slashing through the line. McLeod the carrier and looks like he is going to get maybe seven on that. So it's going to be second and three. Roman Bybar on the tackle. Gain of six, second They're down. They're saying four. six. We'll go with their call. Two receivers over on the far side. Tight ends pulled in, man in motion. Hand off again, and again, another nice oh, hole. Go, 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 go! Yeah! And he's still loose. First down, Delkin. About a 25 yard run there. First and 10 for Staley. Ball on the 28 yard line. Once again, starting to get in fairly deep into North Kansas City territory. Quarterback drops back, throws it Wide right open. Oh! And nice it's going to be missed. Nice defensive play there. Nice defense. As the ball's tipped away just right there at the last minute. As soon as I can see his number, I'll try to figure out who it is. Looks like. That's intended for Jared Neal. Incomplete. Second down and 10. I think it's 32. Made that nice play. Jonathan. I can't even make out the last name. I'm sorry. Um, 
Another play into the line. Kind of off tackle, maybe. B.B. McLeod, the ball carrier. McLeod, the ball carrier, and he will pick up maybe... Biwan Hussein on the tackle. And no gain on that, I don't think. So it's going to be third and two, eight. Third down and eight. I'm saying a gain of two. Two out wide, one out wide to this side. I'm going to try to turn it out, and he's going to be caught in the backfield. Nice play by number 45. Gabby McLeod, the ball carrier. That's Al Alex Belthorn. 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 Tight end. Sophomore. Fourth down and 12. So fourth down and 12 now. 7.42 to play here in the second quarter. Receivers out wide. Got two guys in the slot on this side. Quarterback. Quarterback steps up through the coverage, but he's going to be hit there and brought down. Fowler with the carry after he couldn't find anybody open. And he'll go down. And that means the ball will go over to North Kansas City. So Northtown takes over on their own 32-yard line with a nice stop there by the defense. Okay, three men out wide to the right. Hand into the line. Maybe a gain of one. Brown with the carry. Coons with the tackle. Gain of one on the play. It's second down and nine. So it'll be second down and nine now for the Hornets. 6.55. Uh, option play. Quarterback hit with the ball just as he was releasing it and hit the ground before it got to the back. Hall with the recovery of the fumble. And man, the quarterback got hammered that time. Now it's third and 16. And 16. North Kansas City so far, like I say, the offense has just been able, unable to muster other than that one big play <laughs> where they had to pass <laughs> for like 25 yards. Another long pass, but it's going to be overthrown. And that's going to be three and out for North Kansas Passing City. For Malik Johnson. 16. Jalen Newberry and Kate Coons on the coverage is fourth down and 16. Koa Grace back deep. Here in the second quarter, we're just kind of trading positions. Possessions, I mean, not positions, possessions. Well, that's true. The last two of them did. Thunder on his own 12. Staley player on the 41. And he'll get it on the 39. And he's going to get it back. By number 25, Koa Grace. Grace with a return, and he's out of bounds on about the 39. It's a flag on the field. And we've got a flag on the field. It's against Cole's Staley. Against the well, you can add 10 onto that. That'll put it back in their own territory. Be on the 49. The Falcons will start from their own 46 yard line. First and 10, Staley. Staley with the ball on their own 46. 5.51 to play here in the second quarter. Yeah, 
Well, he's going to pick up about two. Mitchell with the carry. Going to be second and eight, I'm going to say. I'm right saying seven. Daniel Joyner, Jr. Staley back up there real quick. No huddle, ready to go. And looking to the sideline for some... See what's going on. Jesus Christ. Handoff. He met in the backfield and brought down. Ball carried by Milan Mitchell. Mitchell on the carry. And number 90. Cameron Long. Cameron Long. Number 99. Long. Cameron Long. Defensive end, junior. And he's big. <laughs> Got to be 200 something. Third now and about 10 and a half. They're saying 11, but I don't think so, but we'll see. I'm betting pass, folks. What do you think? Oh, goes through the quarterback's hands and he just falls on it back there at the 35. Fumble on the play recovered by Jared Fowler. <sighs> Fourth down and 20, Falcons in front formation. There's the kick. Nice, nice, nice kick. Gonna bounce and they're gonna let it roll. And it looks like Northtown will take over on their own 25 as we're just kind of playing field position there. So we trade possessions again. 330, 343 to play here in the second quarter. North Town will start. Real back and forth battle for field position. Staley with that opening drive. And they've had some good running up the middle, but North Town looks like they're starting to figure something out defensively. Here's a run into the line. And he's going to break it. No. Yeah. He's going to get tackled. Finally, they're at the... One, I think they're going to say 22. That's Jeremy Jim Brown with that run. And that's going to be like uh, 10, 15, 20, 25. About 30 yards, 30 or 35 yards. North Kansas City, that's the one thing right there that Staley needs to try and contain, which they have so far. Tries to go out around in, and of course is pushed out of bounds. Brandon Hall, the ball carrier. With a gain of possibly two, two and a half. Pushed out of bounds by Nick Wright. Woo! Probably gonna call it second and eight, which they do. Gain of two, second down and eight. Let's go defense Hall, let's turn it over. Hand off into the line again, and man, he is met Jeremy Brown, the ball at the player. line of scrimmage. Brown, no place to go, no hold, Katie nothing Craig. but green shirts there. Loss of one, third down and eight. And we are just about at the three minute mark here. And we are. In the second quarter, 255. And we've got a motion penalty on one of the linemen for North Kansas City. The call is false start against the Hornets. Well, that'll cost Northtown five. False start. <clears throat> Clock starts again. 2.30. Yeah. 
into the line again, and he's going to get maybe five of that back. And that's going to be fourth down now. He was met by Hayden Gregg at field goal. And it's still going to be like fourth and eight. And I think it's fourth down. They're bringing on the field goal unit. Yep. This will be a 20, 37 yard. It's up and it's good. Well, Northtown on the scoreboard now. Going to be 7 3 here with a minute and 37 seconds to play here in the second quarter. We'll be back, folks, with the kickoff. Okay, here we go with the kickoff as Northtown will kick off after getting that field goal. Nice deep kick. Uh, Staley player is going to pick it up on about the two. Go, go. And he's going to run out of bounds. That's Ramon Shelton with that return. And he picked that up on about the two yard line and got it back to about the 42. So that's about a 40 yard return there. Give or take a little. The Falcons will start from their own 42 yard line. Receivers out wide, man in the slot, guy in the backfield and he's gonna get it and he will pick up maybe Two, two and a half. Dermont Marshall, the ball carrier. Marshall with that carry. Malik Bogart on the tackle. Gain of two on the play. 115 to play here in the second quarter. Ball now on the Staley own 44 yard line. Right up the gut again. And he may get a yard that time. Yard and a half. Marshall, the ball carrier. Marshall again. We're down under a minute now. By Jack 50 seconds here in the second quarter, and we'll be going into halftime. Satisfied with just running out the half. Yeah. Thank goodness the uh, banners up on top of the goalposts are not near as whipping around as they was at the start of the game. It does make it a little more comfortable here. Gonna try it around the end out there. He's gonna be met short of the first down. And that's gonna get the clock down to about 18 seconds. Cause it's gonna be fourth down. And four. And looks like North Kansas City is gonna call a timeout here with 18 seconds. We'll be back right after this timeout. Staley with the punt here, like I say, just 18 seconds to play. Northtown really trying to block that one, I think. And it's going to be downed by a Staley player there at the 40, no, I'm sorry, 35, 34, 33. 33, they're on 33 yard line. North Kansas City will put the ball in play there. Now we're down to 10 seconds, so they're just going to get like one play here, probably take a knee. Don't believe they'll risk anything. No, evidently not. They're going to go for something. And blitz, and it's going to get caught. You're going to get out of bounds with 4.4 seconds and a first Passing down. To Brandon, Hall. Brandon Hall on the reception. No first down. Looks like a gain of nine. Now they're going to call it eight. Okay. Just going to do a little handoff up through the line, and that's going to run out the clock. 
And here at Staley High School, the North Kansas City Sports Complex, it is going to be Staley 7, North Kansas City 3. We'll be back after the half, folks. Well, folks, here we go with the second half as North Kansas City now will kick off to the Staley Falcons. And it's going to be an onside kick, but it's going to be covered up by Staley. So Staley will start at their own 49. Onside kick recovered by number 16 for Staley, Jonathan Wyckoff. Wyckoff with that. I don't know what to call it. It's not a reception. Falcons will start with a kick. 49 yard line. Kind of bring you up to date on some of the other games around town here. Uh, Raytown is beating Fort Osage pretty handily. And the last score that we had on the Ray Moore Peculiar Liberty North game, Ray Moore Peculiar was winning that. And another run right up the middle, and he has met at the line of scrimmage. And McLeod, I believe, is a brought down by Dominique Orange. Dominique's Orange, the tackler, if I'm pronouncing that correct. Hearing it or correct. So it's going to be second down and nine here for Staley. Still on their own. Well, they might have gained a couple of feet. Looks like could be on the 50. Quarterback keeper, and he is only going to get about a yard or so. Ball carried by Jared Fowler. Fowler with the carry. Killian Powell and Malik Johnson on the tackle. I'm going to call it third and eight. Northtown seems like they have kind of sealed up that middle where early on and given away quite a few running plays to Staley. Man in motion. Quarterback back to pass. It's going to be a screen pass. And it's going to be a touchdown. A play fairly similar to the one that they had where they scored their other touchdown. They just threw the ball out into the flat like that kind of a screen pass. And uh, it was run right into the end zone. Who was it? Um, 22. 22. That's Fabian McLeod. He's a junior 5'9". On that touchdown. So now it's going to be here with 10.33 to play. 14 to 3 Staley. We'll be back with the kickoff here in just a little bit. And here's the kick. And it will be in the end zone. Touchback. Northtown will start from their own 20 yard line. So Northtown will get the ball on their own 20 yard line as Staley comes out here in a minute and 27 seconds. Scores a TD to start the second half. So we've got a 14 to three game. North Kansas City is gonna have to get that offense rolling here if they are gonna stay in this game. So far, Staley able to contain these two running backs for North Kansas City. Once again. Jeremy Brown, the ball carrier. Jeremy. Brought down by Caleb Taylor. Bald? That's good for a Northtown first down. Ball on the 32 yard line. First and 10, another handoff. Man, they are determined. 
to try and establish a running Walker game. Jeremy Brown. Brown, Jeremy Brown again with the carry. Caleb Taylor and Hayden May get to uh, two, two and a half that time. It's gonna be second and eight. 21-21. Second down and eight. 21-21 now, Ray Moore Peculiar and Liberty North. And they're probably in the third quarter like we are. And man, run up the middle again. And he is met. Jeremy Brown. Solid there. I mean, just stood up. There. Well, now it's going to make it third and eight. I'd say seven. It's third down. And they changed the scoreboard, so now it is third and seven. You could say this is going to be a passing down here. Got two men out wide, one man in the backfield. And yeah, he's dropping back. Throws it out here and intended for number five. Pass intended for but Brandon Hall. Intended for Hall, but not even close. And that's going to be fourth, fourth down. down. So Staley gets a TD on their possession. Northtown comes out with a three and out. Watch the fag. We've got 8.55 here now to play still in the third quarter. Northtown in punt formation. Punter on the 20. Staley player on the 28-yard line to receive this punt. There's the snap, kick, real high. Oh, and the receiver gets knocked, gets knocked down. Fair catch interference. And we got a flag as the receiver had called for a fair Don't catch. Turn, there's a flag on the play. And he got knocked down. Nope. No. Picked it up. And picked up the flag and says no, no. It was not Correct. intentional. There's no flag on the play. <laughs> I was watching, though. No, I wasn't watching. So Staley will put the ball in play again on their own 29. Let's see what they do this time. Already leading 14 to three. Men out wide both sides, man in motion. Quarterback held, held on to it. Ball carried by Jared and, Fowler. And then sort of waited a minute before he took off running. <laughs> Don't know exactly what that was all about, but uh, Fowler is going to lose about a half a yard. He's going to make it second and 11, we'll say. They're saying 10. Down to four, three on the play clock. Two, one, and they get it off. Get the hand off. He just about gets caught in the backfield. But manages, Mitchell manages to get about, I'm going to say, two and a half. They want Hussein on the tackle. But that's still going to be like a third and eight. A lot of problems with their shoes coming in tied on North Town. <laughs> Third down and eight for the Falcons. <laughs> Ball on the 32 yard line. Ball on the 32, third and eight. 7.15 to play in the third quarter. And run and play again right up the middle. And he's not going to get that first down. He Bottom will gain about four, three and a half, four. But it's going to make it fourth and three. And 54, Malik Gibson on the tackle. So we're going to have another punt. It. It's up here in the press box. If you can describe it, it's yours. Yeah. 
There's a kick. Nice bomb. Nice bomb. Yes. And it gets down here and rolls out of bounds on about the 16, I'd say, 15 or 16 yard line. So Northtown will put North the ball in play on 15 yard, yard line. line. We'll be back, folks, just as soon as we get ready to resume play. Well, the Northtown defense holds. And once again, they try it up the middle. Ball cleared by Brandon Hall. He's going to get about seven. Kate Coons and Marlon Kirkland on the tackle. So I'm going to say second and three. They're saying two. We can never agree. Man out wide to the right, left over there. Man in the slot, and he's in motion. Another handoff up the middle. And I believe he will get the first bound. Brown, the carrier. And it is the first down. Staley's defense is bending but not breaking. That's good for Northtown first down. Everybody in just a little bit tighter here on this first down play. Man in motion. Quarterback back. He's going to throw it, but it's going to be way over the receiver's head there. Pass intended for Malik Johnson. Incomplete. Mal Malik Johnson, the intended receiver on David that, but Lewis it was overthrown by at least coverage. 10 yards. I think that was Stone on the coverage on the defense for Staley. So now we're going to have second and 10. I think this is a wildcat play here, it looked like. Brandon Hall, the ball carrier. And Hall with the carry. And he will pick up right. about five, five and a half. White with the tackle. Third and five. Another shoestring. <laughs> I'm telling you. This is the sixth guy I've seen tying his shoe. He must not be out of the tie. Two harder shoestrings, they can't take the cold. Another run into the line, and here on third and four, he's going to be stopped and maybe lose a yard. Aiden Gregg and Brandon Robertson on the tackle. So Northtown three and out again. So Northtown going to be forced to punt. Kicker back on the 17 yard line. Staley player back on the 30 to receive it. And it's a kind of a short, low line drive kick. And it takes a North Kansas City bounce. And it will go down just almost to the 35 yard line, just short of it. And Staley will put it in play on their own 35 with 350 here to play in the third quarter. The Falcons will start from their own 35 yard line. Correction, 36 yard line. This is another one of those games that it's gonna be uh, winner moves on, loser season's over. In fact, uh, I think the winner of this, if I was, Hold right will play the winner of the Ray Peck Liberty North game. And that's going to be a loss. Looks like he's going to lose a yard there, so that'll be second and 11. Loss of one on the play. Second down and 11. St 
Staley was too wide right. Bring the other back in here on this side, or receiver on this side. Hand off up the middle. And he's going to break it loose. And it's going to be another touchdown. And that was number five. And that was about a 55 to 60 yard run. That was Dermond Marshall, the senior, 5'11", 191. As man, he was wide open on this side here. Once he got around the end, it was just clear sailing as uh, Northtown just had nobody on defense out on this side. Kicks up and good. So with 3.02 to play here in the third quarter, it's going to be 21-3 Staley as now they start to bust this game open. We'll be back with the kickoff here, folks, in just a little bit. Off. The short kick bounces at the 35, picked up. Makes, dodges a couple of tackles. Hall makes a couple of uh, pretty good side steps and uh, direction changes and David gets Brooks about a 10-yard return on that. The North Town have the ball on their own 36. North Town, if nothing else, even if they don't score here right now, needs to have possession and get some uh, time with just possession. If nothing else, just to keep it away from Staley right now. Quarterback back to pass, and he's going to have it caught for about, I'm going to say, seven yards. Pass complete to Skyler Carey. Skyler Carey. Kendrick Stone. On the the reception on that. Second Wide receivers, four. Skyler, senior. Going to be an option here, it looks like. And a quarterback, nice run. As that's uh, about a 10 yard, 10 or 11 yard carry there by the quarterback. David Lewis and Hayden Gregg on the tackle. That's good for Northtown first down. Hey, let's give a shout out to the Northtown cheerleaders. North Town here so far, a good looking drive, and here they go back to this stuff in the middle where they get nothing. Met by number one, Jeremy Brown. There and stood up. Minute 28 here in the third quarter. They don't seem like they're in a hurry. Got the ball on the 43-yard line. Second and eight for North End. Option play. He's nice. going to be met out here on the corner and put down. He was met persuasively by number 18, Jay Coon. With Jeremy Brown on the carry. Really nice tackle there by number 18, Cade Coons. Third and long. We got a third and eight here now. Back to pass. We got a receiver oh, over the. Oh, he picked it. And I think a Staley player reached up and tapped that. And then more or less as he was going to the ground, caught it. So here is Northtown was about to get into some fairly deep into the Staley territory. 
Staley comes up with a reception, and an interception. And now they'll put the ball in play on their own 29, I'm sorry, 24. Just 27 seconds here in the third quarter, but Staley with the ball again. And the way things have been going. Oh, I uh, could be looking bad. There's another run right up the middle. And he's, Jeez! And, First down! <laughs> and with the help from about uh, eight other Staley players, the ball carrier That's will get a first down. McLeod with the carry, but there were at least Roman six other on the Staley players helped push in the pile. And that's going to be a first down as the clock continues to run. And they can let this here uh, clock run out as the game clock is uh, sh shorter than the play clock. And it looks like they will as they just stand there. And here at the end of the third quarter, folks, it's going to be the Staley Falcons 21, North Kent City Hornets 3. We'll be back as they change ends of the field. Okay, here we go with the fourth quarter. Staley with the ball, just missed in the backfield. Yes. And he's finally going to be tackled. That's going to be about a 17-yard run there, I believe, before he's run out of bounds on the far side. Malik Gibson and Malik Johnson on the tackle. That's good for Staley first down. That stayed inbounds. Smart football. He didn't go out of bounds. Clock's running. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought he got knocked out, but evidently he stayed inbounds. And we've got a penalty flag. Must have been motion on Ball start against the Falcons. Falcons. And there's another flag now in the backfield over here. Secondary. I don't know if it's going to be unsportsman or what against Northtown. Looked like there was some jabbering or something going on over there up on the line. Illegal procedure. All of that discussion to confirm a false start. Well, now there was another flag in the backfield over here oh. in Northtown side, hmm. but evidently well, they they decided not to it's first do that. There were a couple of linemen over there on the other side were running their mouths. It looked like <laughs> I thought he was going to call an unsportsman. Is what I thought. But First down and 15 for Staley. Ball on their own 47. <laughs> and Mike Mitchell. Mitchell with maybe a loss here of a couple of feet. Joiner Jr. on the tackle. So now it's going to be second and 15. I thought it was third down, but what do I know? Yeah. Staley shuffles three or four players in there. A couple anyway. Second and 15. Quarterback keeper. And he's going to get back up to... Fowler with the carry, and he's going to get just up past the original line of scrimmage when they started. So it's going to be, looks like, third and ten. Baywon Hussein and Malik Gibson on the tackle. The wind's still slightly kicking up as Staley going against the, gr the wind right now. Eight on the play clock, seven, six, five, four, three. Quarterback rolls out, another pass out here into the flat, and 
Really Pass nice hit. To Ramon Shelton. Shelton with the kitsch, but boy, he's hit right at the ankles and it turns him head over heels as Sybar with the tackle out there. Nice hit. That's going to bring up a fourth down as they are still like seven yards short of the first down as that clock continues to wind. Northtown here slowly but surely running out of time as they would have to actually win, uh, score three touchdowns here to win this game. And the way the offense has been playing so far, it looks like it's unlikely. Snap, kick. Northtown player picks it up. He's got blockers. And he's going to get it back up to about the 45. I think he caught that around the 20 or 25. So that's a nice 30 yard run there. Brandon Hall with the return. So Northtown with some good starting field position, maybe some of the best that they've had on any of the possessions that they've had with the ball. They start on the 44 yard line of Staley. They've got to do something here at 842 if they can't score on this possession. Why? Daniel Joyner Jr. met by a flock. Daniel Joyner Jr. on the carry, but he is going to get up to the line of scrimmage, and that's about it. No further. They can do this all night long. Yeah. Run up the middle. <laughs> I can't believe they've just stuck with it the whole game. Yeah. And another hit up the middle again, and it looks like he will get will get five yards this time. Jeremy Brown. Maybe just carry. short of five. Brown on the carry. Hayden Gregg on the tackle. With the speed that these North Kansas City backs have, I'm somewhat surprised that they haven't had more. Outside running plays. Down under eight minutes now. Oh. And Brown with the opportunity to go outside and he turns it back in and gets hit immediately. And that's going to be three and out for Northtown as it's fourth and about. I'm going to say seven here, but it looks like uh, with the clock winding down, we're just about at seven minutes right now. North Kansas City has decided that they're going to go for it here as the ball is on the Staley 42. Quarterback rolling back to pass, and that pass is no good. It is very short, and Staley will take over on downs. By Caleb Taylor. Taylor with the coverage, and uh, man, that ball was five yards from receiver. I'm, I'm surprised they didn't call intentional grounding on that because it wasn't even close to a receiver. He blocked it. Did he? Yeah, knocked it down. First uh, and ten, Falcons will start from their own 42-yard line. Staley huddles up, now runs out on the field. We'll have a play here. We are under seven minutes, 6.57 to play. We'll try to get it out around the Final end here, but Northtown was pretty good about sealing it off. I think that was Mitchell on the carry, Gibson on the tackle. At least they were warm for the loss. <laughs> they got their heaters. Uh. <laughs> Clock runs almost down to six minutes already. Ball in the 44, second and eight. And run up the middle, and he's going to get probably another Mitchell, three. Mitchell again with another three. No 
Brought down by Daniel Joyner Jr. Nobody's been hurt tonight on either side. Yeah. It's third down and four for the Falcons. Yeah, a cold night like this where a lot of players susceptible for injuries. And uh, both teams have been pretty lucky so far. I don't think we've had a medical timeout at all for any of the players yet. Play clock down to 10, and we're still looking for the play. They've got it now. Five, four, three, two, and a snap, and another handoff. Oh, yeah! And he's going to get down. Woo! Mitchell. Mylon Mitchell. Brought down by number two, Kelly and Powell. Just when you thought things couldn't that get was any about better, a 35. A dollar now. Somebody can stand for dollar a dollar. A 35 or a 40 yard run there by Mitchell. Look at everybody. Everybody's running in the good hot dogs. <sighs> And I think we've got a North Kansas City timeout. Yes. No. Yes. North Kansas City timeout. 5-18 to play. 21-3. Staley with the lead. First down ball on a 24 for Staley. After that nice run, 40. Then looks like he's going to go off, uh, off tackle. He was by number five, and, Hall. and he's going to get probably, I think that was Hall with the carry. Or was that Hall with the tackle? I think it was Hall with the tackle. Looks like he's going to pick up about four. <coughs> so it's going to be second and six. Staley pretty much in control of this game as the clock winds down here. And they've got a two score advantage. No, well, there's a fumble, but I think they fall right back on it. We'll see. Yeah, Staley keeps possession. Fumble on the play, recovered by Staley. I don't know if he fumbled after he got the handoff or just on the exchange or exactly how that played out. But anyway, Staley now third and four, and we are under four minutes. Let's say North Kansas City season is slowly unwinding right here at Staley again, just like it did last year. Holding at the point. <clears throat> We've got a flag down. Looks like it could be holding Brown on Staley. It is. The referee gets Brandon the signal. The Clock stops at 3.44. Be a 10-yard penalty. That's going to make it about 15, 13, looks like. Third and 13 for Staley. Down to three minutes and 44 seconds. <laughs> yeah. That's the key. Don't you remember hot dogs are only a dollar while they last? Ball now on the 27. It'll be third and 12 for Staley. Men out wide to the left. Two backs in the backfield. Quarterbacks dropping back, looking. That's a completion. That was a heck of a catch. He reached up with one hand and grabbed that, but I don't think McLeod with that almost catch there. But he evidently must not have come down with one foot in bounds. Might as well. Looks like Staley rather than kick it. And with this lead, and they're going to call a timeout, it looks like. But uh, Staley with the lead 21 to 3 here with 313 in the fourth quarter. And looks like they will be going for this play rather than kicking because they've got the ball on the 27. And evidently not worried about the field goal, so they think, why not go for it? We'll be back. 
Here we go, Staley. Oh, reverse. And reverse. Got it. Oh, another one. Ball carried by number one, Ramon Shelton. There's a flag on the play. What? Flag on the play. It was going to be a first down. That was Ramon Sheldon. 20 seconds off the clock. With on, on a carry. They get to replay the down, too. Yeah. It's going to against, be against Staley, but they get to replay the down. Plus, they took some time off the clock, so not a total loss. Okay, ball now on the 27. Uh, Staley with everybody in fairly tight, and they're going to throw it out here. No good, and it's going to be a flag. That may be offensive. Uh, yeah. Pass intended for Roman Sheldon. There is a flag. On the Sheldon, the intended the receiver. Line. There, that was at about the five. Uh, I think they're going to call offensive pass interference. So I'm not sure what's going to happen here. I think Northtown will take over on downs as they've got the first down signal up on the yard marker on the other side. So uh, evidently Northtown refused the penalty and took the down. So now, 2.58 to play, North Kansas City. This may be for a little respect here. Might try to come down and get a score. Back to pass. Now they're going to throw it. And they got a man open. And he's going to get... Number five, Brandon Hall. Uh, 10, 15, 20, 25, about a 28 yard uh, pass and catch and run. And a handoff over this side, and he is run down from behind. Jeremy Brown, the ball carrier, met by Caleb Taylor. In the backfield. Caleb Taylor, a pretty good sized boy, run down a guy about half his size. <laughs> who you would think three. would be a little Second faster. Looks like he came all the way from the left defensive end position to do that. He's D1. Uh, it's deep, no good. Overthrown just slightly. Pass intended for Brandon Hall. Intended for Brandon Hall. But coverage by number five, over, David Lewis. Over, overthrown just a little bit, David Lewis on the coverage. So that's going to bring up a third and 13 as Northtown has the ball on the Staley 47 with 2.09 to play. Much as I hate to say it, but it looks like North Kansas City is nearing the end of their football season. Yeah! Yeah. Wow! Brandon Hall, the grab by number 53, Caleb Taylor. <laughs> Taylor with the grab there on Hall, and I mean, just stopped him in his tracks. So North Kansas City here now with one more try to just get the first down as we are at 149, and looks like Northtown's going to call a timeout. We'll be back, folks, here in just a little bit. Fourth town right here. Uh, and they're going to catch him in the backfield. Quarterback was rolling out this way, had a receiver possibly open down this way, but he is caught from behind. And that is pretty much got to be the season for North Kansas City, folks. First down, Belkins. 
And that's going to put them at 11 and 2 for the year. And Staley will move on to 11 and 2. And they will go on to face the winner of the Ray Peck Liberty North game, which is going on just about five and a half miles from here. <laughs> Daly, handoff, going to be met. I might pick up a one yard, but uh, pushed back. They're going to call it even up right at the line of scrimmage of maybe a little further, but not much. And the clock, the clock runs. And a minute and 20 seconds left here in this district game between Staley and North Kansas City here at the North Kansas City District Stadium Complex. He's met at the line again and dropped, if not for a loss. Pretty close. David Brooks, the ball carrier. And the clock runs. Going to be third and ten. Third and ten. Hand off again, and he is met at the line again. That's game. And it's going to wind out here. As it looks like the North, North Kansas City Hornets are going to go down to defeat to the Staley Falcons for two years in a row here in district play. Folks, I hope you have enjoyed the game of the week here on Grandpa Sports Videos. Hopefully we'll see you next week again at another game. I'll take care, and we will see you hopefully next week. Good night.